Things are slowly starting to return to normal on the picture-perfect island of Noyce Bay. This shortly after a crowd burnt two Europeans alive. The visitors were accused of trafficking human organs. The men were believed to have murdered a child that was found dead on a beach with his organs removed. This incident has many on the island worried that tourists will avoid them. The slow in tourism could aggravate the island's already struggling economy. Almost 80 percent of households in Madagascar currently live below the poverty line. This is one of the highest percentages on the continent. Residents of Noise Bay say things have started to settle down and say they're optimistic that tourism will pick back up. No, in fact, uh, the, the no. Things have returned to normal, and I must say that even though we have had some cancellations, customers have started to come. There are very few people who have left, and now we've tried to go there and show everyone who comes out that the place is safe. Many tourists on the island feel the same way, saying they're not worried about their safety. We've heard about the incidents, uh, we've heard the sides from the local people and the tourists. Uh, I think Mersey Bay is quiet. There doesn't seem to be any problem now. Um, there's no reason for tourists not to come. Uh, other places are, have much more problems. The French Foreign Ministry has, however, cautioned its citizens on the island. The travel advisory is for all of Madagascar, advising the 700 plus French nationals currently in the country to halt inter country travel and advise those with plans to visit to delay their trip. As we came specifically for a humanitarian mission, we did not necessarily feel affected by all this, and anyway, we had already planned to come. So there is no problem here. We were very well received. It's my third trip to Madagascar, and there is no problem, no animosity, so things are going on well. The country is slated for an election on Friday, the 25th of October. If the election is successful, it could help restore Madagascar's global travel image. This incident has definitely had repercussions on the Nozi B, as its segment of the population was affected. As you know, there have been many deaths of Malagasy people as well. So let's say all this has made things uncomfortable for people here in Nozi B. Fortunately, the authorities have intervened and the Malagasy state is investigating to find out what exactly happened, as well as how to solve the problem and find ways to restore order. Madagascar's once bustling economy shrunk 4.6% in 2009, the year of the coup. This after it had grown a 7.1 rate for the year before. The country is projected to grow by just 2.6% this year, according to the World Bank. G2 Abraham, CCTV.